Hi guys, it's Michael here, and welcome to this special of the BBC School Report. I'm excited, you're excited, because you should be excited. Let's get into this. Hello guys, I'm Michael, and welcome back to our special. Today I am joined by Thomas. Thomas will be answering a few of my questions about East Kilbride Football Club, which is what this special was about. It's about them beating the world record for most consecutive wins. Let's get into this. So, Thomas, how long have you been a fan of the club? Now, I've been a fan of the club since it reformed in roughly about 2010. In fact, I remember uh, vividly going to the first ever uh, home uh, game in the Scottish Home League of, of the club's history, which was in the 2010-11 season, if I remember clearly. How do you feel about them breaking this record? This is a massive achievement for them. It is indeed, yes. It is a massive achievement, as you said. Now, from being from the town, obviously it means a, a bit more than if I just heard about it. But having went to the games, seen it happen, uh, obviously I've got a bit more passion than for the club than your average Joe, so to speak. Uh, That's me. Um, yeah, so your average Michael. But, um, and obviously being from the town is a brilliant achievement for not only the players but for the management and the town in general should be incredibly proud. So how do you think that they play? Is there anything you'd change about them? Is there one player that you feel, no, nah, he should be up front or? Well, in terms of the team and the way they've played and the personnel uh, that have uh, featured, uh, there's not much of a change, obviously we've been a bit slack in a couple of the games, but that's to be expected when you're going on a run of over uh, uh, of 30 odd games. Um, so that's to be expected. There was a couple of games where we managed to screw the results by the skin of our teeth, but as you would expect. As for players that have been playing well, we've got the captain Barry, uh, um, uh, yep. as well as uh, Joao, and also Sean have been uh, very, very influential in this run, as well as everybody else. Everyone else has been equally as influential. However, if I had to pick, a few players, those would be the few I'd pick. There you have it. This is Thomas, East Kilbride Football Club, super fan, and I'll be back with more of this special. Stay tuned. tunes. That's all from us today in the BBC School Report, guys. See you next time on the BBC School Report. I'm Michael, and I'll see you later. Bye.